In the 1920s and 1930s, the development of submachine guns was in a period of great exploration. People's ideas about submachine guns were largely influenced by World War I, resulting in strange designs such as attaching bayonets, installing bipods, and even aiming scales that exceeded 800 meters. However, at that time, these submachine guns were considered normal operations, and not many people found them inappropriate. But when the technology tree is skewed, extreme examples can appear, and the Steyr Solothurn S17-100 submachine gun is such an extreme example. Not many people may know about the S1-100 submachine gun, but many military enthusiasts are familiar with it under a different name, the MP34 submachine gun. As a high-cost submachine gun, there is no doubt about the quality of the MP34, and some articles refer to it as the Ferrari of submachine guns in World War II, highlighting its excellent performance. Around 1930, Steyr had already acquired the original design factory of the MP34 and began production of the submachine gun under the internal designation S1-100. At that time, this submachine gun had gained recognition from some countries and started to be sold abroad. Switzerland had also developed its own domestic submachine gun during World War I, but due to inaccurate positioning and lack of design experience, its Führer 1919 submachine gun ended in failure. In the early 1930s, Switzerland approached Steyr to purchase submachine guns. However, Switzerland did not want the original version of the S1-100. Steyr developed the S-17-100 submachine gun based on the S-1-100. In fact, the overall structure of the two submachine guns is not much different. The reset spring and trigger structure have been readjusted, and the submachine gun can still be used like the S-1-100. The biggest improvement of this gun is the ability to mount a tripod. It can be attached to the bottom of the submachine gun and can be installed on dedicated tripods or various vehicles. From various pictures, the gun has a buttstock similar to the MP34 submachine gun and a grip structure similar to a heavy machine gun. This strange design is likely due to the need for vehicle-mounted use, as the previously designed Führer 1919 submachine gun by Switzerland also considered this function, mainly used on light reconnaissance vehicles and other equipment. The S17-100 weighs 8 pounds, about 3.6 kilograms, and fires nine Cowig 25mm Mauser pistol rounds. It has a total length of 61 centimeters and a barrel length of 20 centimeters. The muzzle velocity is 419 meters per second, and the rate of fire is about 500 rounds per minute. It uses a 30-round magazine for ammunition. The effective range of this gun is not very certain, but based on the reference to the MP34 submachine gun, and considering that this gun has a barrel length of only 20 centimeters, the range should be slightly less than the MP34. As a submachine gun with a distinct style, although the S17-100 can be fired in a sweeping manner like a heavy machine gun, it is unnecessary to use a tripod for a effective range of just over 100 meters. Soldiers holding it and firing in short bursts would be more lightweight and flexible. Perhaps other countries also felt that the design of the S-17-100 was a bit excessive, as no country purchased it in large quantities, and only a few countries bought it, likely for testing purposes.